sometimes so many people get you at the last second. But this was screaming cheap. Maybe I don't need it. And I'm looking at this is what I really would like. Oh, where are we at? Oh, that's right, I didn't save it there. Here's one. This dude wanted to give me $3,500 traded on my uh, $9,000 um, Road King. I told him, no thank you. This one, this is the second time I listed it. It's a little high. Here's a dealer. It has everything I want but a GPS. And it doesn't have the SRT um, 8. But it is stick. Anyway, that's not what this is about. What this is about? I don't know uh, what, I, what I've been doing. Oh, Lord have mercy. I've been doing some digging. Um, it seems to me we got rid of the carpenter ants, but you know, they might be just be hiding. I don't know. Let me turn some light on in here for you. Light, there we go. This is the pump room area. Oh, oh. And I wrapped all this. And then I used... that stuff um between that and waterproofing it this was pretty uh dark in here that silicone I think it was pretty dark pretty stained uh, I put some I don't know what kind of carpet in there some lame carpet Yeah, everything is just waiting to get done. <clears throat> can't get, can't do everything at once. And then <clears throat> come on, there you go. I don't want the cats in here because I don't know. I don't belong in here. People know I don't never get carried away buying anything. Oh no. I got an idea for it, but it'll take a while. You're gonna love this one. So what do you got here? You got one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and no, there's another one. These are um, these doors and inserts. About, I guess, about fourteen of them. I don't know. Um, yeah. For the right price on the right day, me and my brother and my dad always said we'd buy anything. And it's true. We will buy anything for the right price, the right day, the right time. Usually it's all about the right price. If it ain't a killer price, then they can go and keep it. I don't know. Unless I really want it bad. I don't really want nothing that bad. Can't happen. Ah, uh, so this is done. No, it isn't done. Underneath the eave, I just got done priming it. Underneath the eave, I got to paint it. 
got that metal rough on. Um, we got aluminum flashing on the eaves. That's that shake shingle, I think it is. It's already primed and painted. Wife wants to keep it that color. And the two big doors I had there, I cut them down and I put them in the back so we can get the riding lawnmower in there. And then just priming some bad spots on that. Uh, that's going to be my wife's garden shed. Um, I'm going to put a metal roof on that. I had gotten sidetracked a little bit. But I'm going to get back to it. Tell this, and you can see how high the dirt was. And I dug it all down because I like it when the lawn is level. And that's just me, that's how high the dirt is. And then you can see from here, I haven't finished. I was working on it yesterday. I think it's UBF wiring or whatever. Trenched it here, trenched it across the dolomite, and there's going to be what? Uh, let's see if you can see it. There it is. The lamp pole's going to be there, made out of brick, and lamp pole's going to be there. Yeah, I need one of them right there. It makes it quick. And then there's the water underground sprinkling system just one line that goes here and then I was doing some research and I don't know where it is but they make it really easy now they're actually self draining and blah 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 I bought two kits for like 129 it'll do I don't know 3,000 square foot get six heads you're supposed to plan it all to actually go underground too and pop up on a timer but not like you have in a box but just the timer you have on your faucet which that's fine for me I'm just ghetto fabulous and then here's another one I have to lay that out see how much ground to cover but I just wanted to get that one line in so I can start doing brick around that probably today and lay the plastic down right here and so I can do dolomite and take that mulch and I don't know put it alongside the fence around the trees around something and this took forever this piece of corner see right there it got broke by a buddy of mine he's got a big ass trailer he brought over snapped it off because the cement is taller than the ground so I drilled holes, the cement um, bit on it, put rebarb in it, put two bags of concrete, built that corner up, and yeah, leveled all this down. I need to roll till a little bit more. This I don't like it when the grass is above the the driveway. That's fucking bullshit. So I got to take this and roll to till this up, so I can pull this down it's easier to level put it that way and my wife hasn't got wife hasn't gotten around to uh, going through this and if she waits too long I'll do it and I'll just run it all over with the lawnmower so I've asked her a long time ago to do it but hey it is what it is what it's going to be tomorrow so what are you going to do just take care of it on your own sometimes. October 1st is when I'm going to start working on the garage. There, that's the latest I can start working on it. I think that's about it. Um, yeah. Peace of property. Peace of oneself. Peace on earth. Rest in peace. Bigger piece of pie. Piece of action. Piece of puzzle. Piece of pussy. 
piece of corn dog and a piece of pizza. There's, a, there's like three pieces of something, motherfucker, I want out of there. And it ain't property. One of them's a piece of mine. This fucking shit stresses me out, trying to get this shit done. Fucking solo. The wife says she helps, kinda, you know. Oh, property tax, motherfucking son of a cock sucking fucking bitch, are you fucking kidding me? Fucking bullshit motherfuckers. Realtors be lying like a big fucking dog, I'll tell you that. Bought this house and the realtor said that, you know, when you bought, that people lived, lived here for 25 fucking years, where I had adults built, tax for like 22 or something, and the realtors tell you that it only go up a couple hundred dollars. Bullshit, lying, motherfucking slut, bitch, cunt. And I'm gonna fucking say it again, because that's what you fucking call a spade a spade. Don't call it fucking her, because I learned a lesson on this one. When you go and look at a house, whatever township it is, go down to the township board. They'll give you the information for free. Okay? I didn't realize this this shit. Plus, I wasn't even getting my homestead tax. They act like I wasn't living here. Anyway, after it's all fucking said and done, my taxes go from 22 to 31 plus some fucking change. So what we talking? We talking six, seven, seven hundred and some change. That's not two hundred or two hundred dollars like the fucking realtor said to make to make a fucking sale. So if you want to learn something, don't learn the hard way. Go look at a house, and I don't care what fucking they say the tax are. I don't give a fuck what they say. They're all them fuckers are liars. Because if they ain't got the fucking information in their goddamn hand, then there ain't no proof. You go down to your county commission, uh, Oak Ridge, Orchard View, every township has one. And they ask you for, you ask, they don't cost you nothing. They ask for a piece, uh, paper of, your, of the property that you're looking at to buy. And what would the taxes be if you bought it at this price? No tell you. I wish I would have done it then. I wish I would have done it then. Do I like the house? Yeah, I do like the house. If I knew this motherfucker was going to be 31 and some change on property tax, no. I would have walked the fuck. I would have ran the fuck away. Y'all might not think 31 and some change is a lot of money. Now, figure it out like this. Just say five years go by $3,100. So we got... But 369, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. No, that would be 369, 10, 11, 12. We have five years, 369, 10, 11, 12, 3, 15, 15,000, 15,400 dollars in five years. I'll pay them fucking taxes. For 15,400 dollars, I could buy me a goddamn Challenger with a six speed in it and burn the motherfucking tires off and have enough goddamn money left over buy another set of t fucking tires. That's how I fucking really feel. And if YouTube don't like what the fuck I gotta say, you can put me on red tube, you can put me on green tube, you can be my orange tube, but don't give a fuck what tube. You can fucking cut it off. I don't care. Fuck it. I'll take no AdSense. I'm not fucking gonna go along with the fucking monkey business bullshit. Well, you gotta do this and you gotta do that. Fuck the money, cause you know what? The AdSense ain't shit, man. Unless you put fuck 14,000 goddamn commercials on each fucking video. Yeah, some people do it. Hey, I'm not hating. I just don't watch. That's all. It's the right way the fuck it is. Then they tell you, well, you don't, you don't know it. They tell you a lot of shit. A lot of fucking people tell you a lot of shit. It's starting to turn into fucking bullshit. Because that's what it is. You know what? Show, oh, I had a guy come look at the bike. Check this fuck out. This is how I work. This is how I do shit. Go get a hold of something on the fucking spider or fucking challenge or whatever the fuck it is. I got my finance in order. I got the shit in my pocket. I understand people ain't got cash like that. Okay, that's fine. Go to the motherfucking bank and get fucking approved first. This motherfucker came over. Seemed all right. Took my bike for like fucking 20 minutes. Come back. He says, well, I have to go to the bank and see if I can get approved. To see if I can 
get approved. You should have already been approved. That's like look for fucking houses and you don't even know you're approved yet. You're wasting motherfuckers time. That's how I feel. I'm 55 going on 105 the way I fucking feel. I ain't got time for bullshit. So next cock sucking motherfucker that comes and wants to look at the bike. I'm gonna say show me the fucking money. Otherwise get on down the fucking highway. Piece of something.